Right, message from Warren. Message from Warren. What's he said? So did you blow the lock on, uh, on Unabomber or what? I, I don't know. Oh, please, I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. No idea what that's meant to mean, but whatever. Right, let's get back to snooping. I think, first and foremost, turning the lamp on is a good one. This, yeah, Kate's file, sweet. Okay. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Right, at present time there is a security in... Uh, huh. At present time there is a security security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent along with her okay right I'm gonna need to, to, to yeah <sighs> along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party see the attached files for complete details Right. I'm not going to go through all of that. Only two more files to go. Oh, right, right. Okay. So I do actually have to just... I right. certainly can't use this. Uh, right, right. Um, <laughs> I like this chapter already. It's got so much more... It has a lot more of these... Um, you know, a lot more purpose behind the exploration. Look at this pile. Hopefully they won't overdo it, but at the moment, I'm liking this and I'm liking how they're doing Tumbleweeds. it, so. Right, really? There's nothing in those files? Okay. Well, student files. Here we are. Weird. This right, asshole got has Nathan. a spotless record. I bet his dad had like something I'm to do with that. I'm not going to read my own personal file. Oh, let's see what it says. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she could be doing better. Her teachers back up quite... Her, her teachers back up a quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive, otherwise would like her to be less so. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police slash faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. <laughs> Aside from that last bit, Max actually sounds so much like all the school reports I used to get. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Ugh, I don't I even have care to about sure that. Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Oh, oh, right, okay. Just, yeah. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by a science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Right. Let's nab this last okay. file, Sherlock. Always wanted Is to it in this nab. cabinet? <laughs> nab, that's it. Right. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all yeah. this. But there's not much here about the what police investigation. What? does it say about <laughs> I want to know more about Rachel Amber uh hmm diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modelling there is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum Rachel Lambert's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now on. Thank you for all your help, Lieutenant Chris Rossi, Arcadia, pa Arcadia yeah, Bay I don't PD. blame the principal for expelling Chloe. 
back. That's Chloe. Oh, what's what does she do? Hold up, hold up. What does she do? I want to read this. Chloe Price is a problematic. St oh my gosh, her GPA is one point seven. Really? Ouch. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell. Despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically, Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray, pra spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential... She chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. An intelligent student? She's got a GPA of 1.7. Like, no offense, but... Okay, update. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. So you attach police reports. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. I think we found So that's everything. why they're hidden. I should go join Chloe now. Yeah. Oh, can we look through those? So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Oh. Hang on, let's read. Let's read this. Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Bull! Sorry, but Bull! Along with that, I understand that the recent tragic event involving Miss Ra Miss Marsh causes you gives you pause, but I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conductive con is not conducive to the candy spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Well, I think the Prescotts just have bully running in their family. Let's be honest. What idiots! What complete and utter idiots! No time for people like that. None whatsoever. Let's have a look at this bronze hawk. You're not so tacky up close. You're cute. It's cute. I would totally have that on my desk, not gonna lie. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Oh no. What does it say? I don't want to know. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my sad, unpleasant, regrettable duty to inform you that your petition to block the new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. Oh, it, is not my policy, it is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. I recognise the controversial nature of these cameras and rest assured they will be implemented with the utmost concern for privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will not be too discouraged by the outcome of your petition. We are proud of them. Best Principal Wells. I wish I'd known. I would have signed it. I genuinely, I would have signed it. I don't know why I didn't see it. Ah. Right. Let's Max, get this over with. Better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott. Terrible. III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescott's dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the Jeez. dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or take the chair. Just take it. Because I tried to steal the chair. 
Shit, I'm confused. It's, it's the powers of this friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Hmm? Holy shit! Ooh. Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a Frank lot be for gone. the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 oh, no. here. I could pay Frank back tonight. No. Sure not after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the green back for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. You cannot steal from the disabled. You cannot. No. I, I'm sorry. I know it's a game. I, but on a personal level, this is so wrong i can't even do this in terms of a game i can't i can't do that you really want to take money from the handicapped fund i know you need to pay frank back but there'll be another way there'll I've be another way to protect you right there's a lot of power in that horse choking wad cash but yes moral max is right again i guess yes let's get the hell out of this office morgue she can't hold that against me she seriously can't I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Absolutely not. Let's just look at the computer. Okay, let's... Hmm. Expunged record, that's got to be all about Nathan, right? Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mr. Mrs. Hoyder's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September the 7th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan was, has enormous potential, but also erratic behaviour patterns that may need supervision behind, beyond Blackwell's ability. I agree. I think they should take all of that money that they've got and they should put it into getting him help instead of his tuition fees because they're clearly not helping him in it in any way. Uh, the school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress him, uh, to impress upon him the severity of this situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Update expunged record. Did it Principal Wells, we, re we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in the administration accusing Nathan of an of uncharacteristic erratic behaviour patterns. We cer we're certain this must be a mistake, otherwise we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged, dis expunged disciplinary warning report. That is absurd. Jeez, it really does just say Nathan in the... Oh. Ooh, Blackwell Incident Report. The following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations following, followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision. I agree. Throwing a desk in class, cursing at his English teacher... Lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, attempted theft of campus Tabanga statue. Really? You tried to steal the totem pole? Really? Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't done. I wasn't done with that. What's this say? Oh, it's something about David. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof and he he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled vis visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping I'm not certain I can believe her right now wow they're calling Chloe the questionable company really compared to Nathan whatever 
That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Why splish not? Splash? Who's it gonna harm? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. That's true. I didn't even think Chloe's about that. So if we get caught, we can just rewind. Out, so I better follow her evil plan. All oh, right, right. That's your excuse. That's that's how you're doing it. Okay. There's the training schedule. Um. Can I just go back and leave? <laughs> no, I can't. Okay, we have no choice. What are we looking at then? I'd love a soda, but I just get wired. That does not mean the same thing in England. Right, what's the, uh... Oh, wait, hold up. What's that ad? What's, what's the ad? If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat. Oh, that... Wait, what? Desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. I need this for class and my tablet has private pics of my late cats. Rest in peace. So I will pay a cash reward, no questions asked. If you have any details or would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info now. Please squiggle at squiggle.com. Hmm. Okay. Come on, Chloe. Boys or girls? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Boys, of course. <laughs> Figures. Perv. <laughs> Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Absolutely! Wait, should we... Can we go in the girls now? No, we can't. Right, okay, whatever. Whose jacket is that? Is that Nathan's? It's disgusting. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. It looks like Nathan's, which is disgusting. Because he's disgusting. Hmm. Anything in these lockers? Nope. Nope. Ugh, Nathan's locker. Gross. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Diazepam. And Risperidone. Huh. Okay. Um. Warren's locker. Hi. Hi. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Aw, why do you think, Max? For real? Oh, it's Zachary's jacket. Hold up. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. That... That is probably a wise decision in retrospect. Oh man, does this mean if we go in the lo girls' locker room, we can? Yeah. This must be for training kids. Okay, let's let's yeah, let's go back, and then we can go in the girls' locker room and find out stuff about Rachel and Kate. Right? Wait, whose is that? Let's look at it. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? <laughs> Hey, hey! Thinking bad things about you, cool, but you weren't just my. Oh, what do you? Ew, ew! And he's dating Juliet. Like, really? He is scum. For real. Okay, wait. Come on, I want it. Yeah. Presto. Dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick. Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't. 
I wanted to hold up, hold up. Go back. Okay. Chloe. Chloe, let's chat. Let's talk. Boys or girls? I want to go in the girls' locker room and find out all stuff about the- Oh, wow. <laughs> I need to hit the line or cancel. Oh, my. Wait, what? What? Damn it. Damn it. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Okay, we got it. We got it back again. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Okay. Okay. What do we have in here? Where does that other sock go? It's always the dryer's fault. Okay, we've got Brooke's locker. Right. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Aww. Aww. Imagine Brooke and Warren. I think I ship them. I think that's a new ship. Whose shirt is that? Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. Max the fashion critic, hey? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want? Right, okay. Victoria's locker? So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your- <laughs> No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. No, they're not. They're really not. She looks like Daisy Duck. The wit. It burns. How come all of these people's lockers are on the top? Why does nobody have a bottom locker? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Oh no. Right. Oh, can we take some flippers? Can we? Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? <sighs> Darn it. Right. Oh, wait. 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 Yes! Ugh, so gross. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Bringing a whole new meaning to fan art. Okay. Okay. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hmm. Oh, man! Those hair dryers? <gasps> They're like the ones that you see in uh, camping sites and stuff whenever they have a proper toilet. Dear Kate, I don't care. Wow. Well, we care, dickhead. Exactly. Wow. Abides what? I hope so, friend. <laughs> Abides what? <laughs> Okay. Nice to see there was actual point to that. Right. And here we are. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Hi. I thought those were fish spinning around. Damn it. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. I don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Is that actually a common thing in um in American schools that they have in a pool? In case I run out of air, I know where to come. 
Because, like, you know, we have the whole... I don't some think schools do, some don't. Here. I hope. I didn't go to a school that had a pool or anything. We, we didn't... We, we just didn't do that. Okay, we're in the boys' bathroom now. Oh, that is... Bros will be bros. More like bros will be hoes. Am I right? Am I right? Does she just say the same things here? This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. <laughs> Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Dude. Oh! <laughs> True! Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I wonder who wrote that, hey? I wonder. Welcome to 1950. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. I... Aw, Warren. I bet you do. Hmm. Right. Does this mean I can go back into the boys from here? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, let me just do one quick once over. Some oh, we didn't look at Logan's locker. Here we go. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you. Love, Logan. Right. She's moved on. Okay. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Boys locker room is right. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's so mean, but good job on the memes, I guess. Oh, oh my. Is that soap? Is that... Who dropped the soap? Who? Oh my. Oh my. Okay. We really need to find that, uh... Heater. Yeah. That, that's what I, what I meant. <gasps> Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. I actually, in real life, I'm genuinely terrified of sharks. And if anybody wants to know why, it's because when I was about four years old, um, if anybody is aware of this, because they've actually taken it down in the um, Florida resort, at Universal Studios, the first time that I ever, ever <laughs> went to, um, went on the, the Jaws ride, the, the boat ride, I was positioned on the very far seat. And if anybody is old enough to remember that ride before it was demolished, on the far side is where the, the shark jumps out of the water, tips the boat, then bites into a cable and fries. And as a four-year-old, I was utterly terrified, okay? Completely and utterly mortified and it's just solidified my fear of sharks from that point so yeah that that's what went down i just walked straight past this there has past this completely for the lights around here. <laughs> it's right there oh oh my rescue dummies hey let's take a look at these first don't even think i'm gonna make a move on you but why not bum 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 I'm a rich man, baby. Yes, we get it. Otters. Is there actually anything that I really need to search for in here? Because I imagine there'd be something besides this before we turn the heater on, right? The lights, Coffee even. swimming. Good combo. Nope. Nope. Never swim on a caffeinated stomach. Aw. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. That's like standard size in the UK. 
I know you get like massive pumpkins in America and stuff around Halloween, but that is literally as good as ours get. And it that's if you like order really quickly from Morrison's or whatever. So the big plan is win. Sure. Okay. Oh, oh. you're in my way desk. Why? Why do we look at this? Why not just... Now I have the power over light and death. HA! I've actually made the detail of where the pool gets deeper. <laughs> I'm not gonna... <laughs> I've said it so many times already, but... This game is incredible. Chloe, you're naked. Chloe, you are naked. Time to do or dive, Max. Can I, can I just dive? Can, what, what do I do it? Oh, right. Hey, Chloe, hey. How's it going? Oh hey. yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. Ah, I can't you and me both, Max. Those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. The power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling no, back didn't. and forth from time. <laughs> For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Mm. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Mm. 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 <laughs> You're the bro killer. <laughs> Cats and dude. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other. Otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had the pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's auto draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out.
gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Oh, crap. Hi. Oh, crap. Do it, it, please don't tell me this is like a timed thing. Please. Have I got to What? I go now. Yeah. That's the idea. Oh, crap. Right, we're, we're here, right? Yeah, let's... Let go! Make sure you cover the whole oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no! It would be David. It would be. Damn it! Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. Oh, my gosh. I, I seriously... Power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Oh my gosh, no, go back, go back, go back! <laughs> I'm scared! I mean, I know I can just use the rewind however much, but... No. Go away. Go away. Go away. Ah! <laughs> Leave me alone. Where are they? Hello? Oh no. It is like a timed thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Damn it. No. Bad place to hide. Bad place to hide. Bad place. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Okay. What about if I go to like the last one? They? Is that is that the thing I can do? Ah! It's like actually getting caught doing something that you're not supposed to. Hello? Anybody there? No. Nobody's here. Huh, right. Okay. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. Can I just like leave now? Ah. Uh. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Is anybody Wait, no, 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 no. Go back. David, leave. Right? Oh, what have I got to do? Right. Okay. Props to Chloe. I mean, she just managed to, like, sneak across the whole locker room without any powers. 